Oh, I'm in the wrong business. Davik's got a piece of everyone's action. I should have been a crook. Oh, yeah, yeah he does. Talk to random people. Oh, yeah, I remember those drunk guys. Those drunk guys suck. I'm just hanging out here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, have you done any of the uh, the combat arena stuff? No. Oh man, that's that's some of my favorite VO in any oh. game is the announcer for that stuff. Oh, get out this of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the what a little spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Terrace is a whole planet of space racists. Oh, I want to hug him. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he is. You are bad kids. Yeah, you're bad kid. You're a, you're bad kids with bad parents. Can we karate chop though? <laughs> uh, I feel like they probably wouldn't get the message for that. That's true. I'm maybe sorry. maybe just threaten them. <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm reading too much into these, and it's just no, you're not. Okay, you're not. <laughs> I mean, is this just if a you, Mass if, Effect if thing? From or... memory, from from memory, if you pick the middle one, they go like, "Fuck, whatever, we're out of here." Uh, yeah, I right. think that's what happens. Yeah, that one's more satisfying. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't talked to this guy yet. You already have Bastille. You've never even been to the apartments on the other side of the city. It's because these, man, these hallways are real long. <laughs> <laughs> and... There's a lot of walking. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh. Or her. Yeah. I it it I helps know. that Athorians are known for being super peaceful and for, like, uh, in KOTOR 2, like, their whole th job is bringing life back to uh, war-torn worlds. Yeah. Mm. That's like their whole deal. And their flatheads are so cute. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a yeah, there's a in um, the upper cantina. There's a there's a bounty room where uh, not a bounty room, a like a combat room where people watch du like duels. And the guy that does the the duel uh, play by play stuff is the best. Like he's so good. And also, hey. uh, your name is your name in the ring is the mysterious stranger. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in here for me to steal. Don't, What's up don't with you guys? Look, just take what you want and get out. Yeah, your, I'm, your I'm door was much... open. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves <laughs> like, Your even door playing... was open. <laughs> even if I'm playing a good person, I still riffle through people's shelves. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't totally. give a shit. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> if it isn't nailed down, that's it's what it's fine. there for. Yeah. <laughs> There's a um. In Fallout 2, there's a character, um, you go in and he asks you, like, um, so what are you doing with yourself or whatever? And one of your options is, I don't really know, I just wander aimlessly and riffle through people's shelves. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I love good. picking that one. <laughs> uh, let me know how the audio is in the chat, because I keep adjusting the volume level here. I, I'm hoping it's not too loud now. I'm afraid that it's going to get loud the second we're in a combat. Oh, yeah, Verender points out that I also didn't steal things in Fable, because that made you, what do you want now? a bad person. And I didn't want to be a bad person in Fable. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot about this guy. At, no, I, I, I must have been over here, because I totally talked to this guy before. I always play a, a good run through and a bad run through so I can see the story on both sides. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money. I've been hiding here ever since. You'd give 200 credits to a strain? Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Shut up, Karth. <laughs> Fuck off. Wait, what did Karth say? I missed it. He He's said, like, um, hope we don't need that money later. <laughs> yeah. Th to be what fair, a... that was a pretty big portion of your cash. I mean... But I agree, fuck, not, fuck Karth on not, that one. It's not now. I have 
Oh man, you have a lot of credits. I have 1,200 credits. Like, I, I forgot because you haven't done any side quests, which involves a lot of times you giving people money. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I must have been over here before. Well, if that guy was still there, you must not have given him that money for the well, first no, time. Well, no, but I but I talked to him, and then I was like... Oh, okay. Because the first time, yeah, 200 credits would have been a lot of money. Joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. Battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? Or would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorian. Fuck the Council. Revan was dope. <laughs> immediate threat. I, uh, I really like. Bastila. There was something up there. I mean, she's a little like, you know, she's a Jedi, so she's a little like towing the Jedi party line a little too much yeah. sometimes. But and here's the problem with that: she's not a Jedi Knight. She's a she's an apprentice still. Oh, is she? Well, that yeah, actually makes more sense then, because yeah, so she's then she's like, like eager and she wants to, you know. It makes more sense, but it's shittier. Like, like she's a high and mighty Jedi, but not even a real uh, high and mighty Jedi. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> she's I mean, so, I like Bastila, sure. She's so elegant, though. And her hair is great. Look at that hair. And Jennifer Hale's a great voice actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost as good as Raphael Svarge. I don't know who that is. That's Garth and Tatum. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, now they're on par. For it's weird that he doesn't do more stuff. He's in um, he's in Once Upon a Time, isn't he? I I don't know. I think he might be. I don't watch it, but I remember seeing that. Every time I hear, every time I say or hear or read his last name, I just think of the pizza shop Sparrow. <laughs> mm, yes. So I just associate his name with like kind of shitty uh, uh, mall food court pizza. Oh man. We had pizza tonight for dinner, and it was pretty good. I pizza also had so pizza. I, I, also had, had... I, had, I, had, I had a buffalo chicken wrap, is what I had. I also like that in this game that the aliens don't speak English. Yeah, I like that too. Um... That's yeah. actually one thing that, uh, like, the first time I played the first Mass Effect, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted them to, but, like, I totally understand mm -hmm. why they don't, because, you know, but it would have been really rad if they had, like, made yeah. up uh, languages for, for them. At least, like, you know, like a phonetic, not an entire language, but something that, like, you know, phonetic right. differences and stuff. Right. Yeah, I mean, KOTOR gets a little bit of shit for uh, how few different clips they use for the alien languages. Like, and I, I feel like all they would have needed to do is double or maybe triple what is essentially like maybe 50 different th words, alien words, mm -hmm. uh, to make it be really good. That's not a lot of work. That's actually probably a lot less work than voice actors. Like you know, saying a, saying whole, a whole uh, game's worth of lines. Yeah. Ugh. We need more money. We need more money. You can uh, you can persuade her to. Oh, have you not been putting uh, points into persuade? No, I did successfully persuade her to cut it in half, but I still didn't have enough money. Oh uh, wait, was it from four thousand to? No, it's 2, well, it's two thousand, and then you do. Pers I did a persuade to ask her to cut it in half, and she said, "I can't do half, but how about fifteen hundred? And I still couldn't oh, do that. Oh, you're a couple hundred short. Yeah. Oh man. I still wouldn't Carth, have had enough. Carth My name's Carth. Right. I hope you didn't need Carth that money right. later. <laughs> no, because then I, I still wouldn't have had exact. I still wouldn't have had fifteen hundred, because I only gave two hundred to that dude. Can we get some money from from Pazak, maybe? 
you can't get money from uh, Pazak. It's, it would be easier to go to the upper cantina and do the uh, dual stuff. Oh, all right. Let's you'll get a, you'll get a bunch of credits from that. Let's go do that. And it's fun, and you get to hear some dope voice acting. Cthulhu asks, "Are there huts in the Kotor games? I believe yes. we're going to go meet one right now. Maybe." Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 seconds away from huts. Yes. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Cthulhu asks. <laughs> isn't that language the language the Twilight speak? Isn't that like hut language? Mm. Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. No. They Hutties uh, is different than yeah. Twilightian or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now everyone is speaking Hutties in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Return of the Jedi on May the 4th. <laughs> that was how I celebrated. <laughs> I also wore a Star Wars t-shirt. I really like some of those. Oh, Biki wa jo wa solo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, where are we well, going? You, you, Cantina. Cantina. You know you're a Star Wars fan when you have the hot dialogue memorized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite alien line in all of Star Wars is little eyeball that comes out of the door in Jabba's palace and he goes yes! Eat you da. Oh! <laughs> yep yep <laughs> I remember I had a I had a uh, I was in Barnes and Noble with a friend and we were just hanging out and uh, I found a uh, sounds of Star Wars book that had like like uh, like 500 sounds from the Star Wars movies <laughs> and I had my friend test me on them and I was <laughs> disappointed at how many of them I knew <laughs> I have st I have a Star Wars electronic trivia book. I actually have two of them. One from wait no not a part the, of this. Where are we going? One from the nineties and one from more recently. And um, I love pl I love playing them because it's just you know thousands of Star Wars questions. <laughs> <laughs> that's and that's yes, I mean it, it's like okay, when am I ever going to need to use this knowledge? But it's fun, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah, whatever. I can dig it. Um. Oh yeah, we don't need to. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why does it have the security option? That must be a weird glitch. Like that doesn't make any sense. Ah uh, shoot. What? I grabbed a backup beer, but I didn't bring the bottle opener. The bottle opener. So oh. uh, hang on, I'll be right back because. <laughs> okay. Uh, talk talk amongst yourselves. All right. Hey Kelsey, um, what's up? Not much. Render has never seen Star Wars. No, and it's no. good. It's really Render, good. It's very good, very good. Um, um watch number you, four first. Do you remember this? The the sort of storyline for these fights that Nick's gonna yeah. do. Um, the I remember the last guy being really frustratingly hard for me, and I had to go away and level up. Are and you then talking the last me. guy or like the secret last guy? The secret last guy, I guess. You're talking Bendak Star Killer. Yes. Yeah, that guy. That guy's really tough. Yeah. I, so I, I just I, bought. I just bought a couple. Um, I think I had picked up a couple uh, um, plasma grenades. Uh huh. And those, like, I just used two of those, and those like took down half his health or something. Yeah. Um, also, if you there's a glitch in the game where if you uh, they took it out for Kotor two, but mm -hmm. if you press start before uh, your enemy sensor senses an enemy, you can mm -hmm. use as many items as you want in a row. So right, nice. right as the match starts, you can like <laughs> use all of your uh, stims. Uh -huh. And that helps also. Yeah. Vorpal Femme, Bastilla is indeed wearing the double Bluetooth. Look, <laughs> Bastilla is an important lady. She's got a lot of conversations, important, <laughs> a lot of phone calls, a lot of important calls to make and receive. So... <laughs> a lot of lot of Jedi business. <laughs> yeah. I'm back with more beer. Yay, beer. I like beer. What kind of beer? Um I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch The, the one I poured is uh um they're both lakefront breweries, mm -hmm. which is a local so Milwaukee like brewery. Nice. Uh, and they're all, every beer Lakefront makes is really good. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to That's the good. 
Uh, and this one, the one I poured is a, uh, um, it's called, uh, I forget what it's called. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I fucking love this announcer so much. Whoops. Oh my god, did I Duncan? I remember these names now. Yeah, I remember <laughs> all the names and I and in the order that you fight them. <laughs> and also the best strategy for taking them down. They're not difficult. Solid bit. So I give you the winner. Go oh man. <laughs> Typical dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, dead eye is down again. <laughs> <laughs> Mong Knight says dead eye looks dead, yo. <laughs> no, he's just unconscious. Don't worry, folks. Hey, look at you. Cthulhu ask. Look. There he is. There you go. You got him. Unless. I like that they got the name in there. Yeah, I heard that too. Like they could have just put, you know, alien language nonsense, but. Emotional hobo wants to hug. The hut? Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like that might be a little slimy. <laughs> I mean, that's look. That's a that's a stereotype of the huts. <laughs> there was the one guy. Who... Huts are actually very dry. Yeah. <laughs> They're very dry, very clean people. <laughs> Sears says he looks less slimy, but no less horrifying. <laughs> uh, I mean, the his textures are a little horrifying. <laughs> Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. Thomas says hut sweat is an aphrodisiac in some cultures. <laughs> Vrender says he doesn't close his mouth, does he? I feel like it. I feel like no huts really, ever. <laughs> no, they kind of they're not built for that. Yeah. Mm. If Luke Skywalker can persuade a hut, I don't think we're gonna have much luck. <laughs> yeah, true. Cause don't um. Because huts have a resistance to, like, Jedi mind trick stuff, right? Huts are too... The... I think the canon is that there yeah, are... The there are there are species... Like, it only works on weak-minded people and uh, and also people who are too much of a certain thing to fall for it. So mm -hmm. I think the idea is that huts aren't that smart, but they're too greedy to fall for a trick trying uh -huh. to get them out of money. Is the, gotcha. <laughs> that okay. is... Yeah. Verander says we should romance him. <laughs> Are there other romance options? Uh, no, the the hut. <laughs> oh, the hut. Okay. Yeah. yeah the okay. Hut. <laughs> and and Zatoro says the scene where Leia is licked by Jabba completely freaking out as a kid. That is freaking now. Yeah. <laughs> like I just watched Return of the Jedi and I I watched that scene. And I'm like, oh god, poor Carrie Fisher. <laughs> You're going to be getting licked today by a creepy prosthetic tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. Also... We make sure to make it extra moist for you. <laughs> Emotional Hobo says, can we trade Karth for him? You guys! Karth is great. Stop it. That's <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Chat also points out that Toydarians are immune to Jedi mind tricks. Yeah, yeah. For similar reasons. Right. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. 
No name. <laughs> no name. This guy's great. Come on. This guy's so good. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's no, uh... Like... <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> the, uh, as much as that movie isn't great otherwise, I always really enjoyed, uh... Um... The announcement for the, uh, um... The bike for the races. pod racer? The pod racer, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. fucking super hilarious comedian Greg Proops does that. Yeah, yeah, Greg Proops. That's the name of the Greg Proops for. is great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Among this is well, damn it, Deadeye. <laughs> God damn it, Deadeye. Why is Deadeye even doing this? <laughs> Deadeye's the worst. Well, talk to him. Maybe he has something to say. Oh, that's right. Oh, I for oh yes, you can talk to all of them and get their backstories. I love this game. Me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Well, I'm used to it. He's so you. If you talk to him before you start, he's super cocky. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He calls you oh, yeah. fresh meat when you. He's like, huh, fresh meat. So yeah, talk to everyone now, and then you'll be able to talk to everyone after you beat them. Even a rookie like you got the oh. Look, And for the most better part, the things they say change as you advance through the right. playlist. Yeah. Satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you taken the last shredded dick? <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, dead happy. eye. Slime <laughs> rat. rat. <laughs> and I like how as you beat them, they're all like holding their sides and stuff. <laughs> dead eye's a joke. Yeah, they're just for they're just permanently damaged after you beat them. Go talk to the organizer if you want to step up to the big leagues. Are all these guys duelists? Yep. I I don't want to talk to all of them. Oh wait, talk to the old man, he's so nice. Wait, which one is the old man? Marl? Marl, yeah, Marl's so great. See you got your feet wet in the duel ring. Not bad. You've got real talent, kid. Stick with it and you'll go places. <laughs> I really like his voice too. Yeah, yeah. I f yeah, I feel like that voice is very familiar. Is pretty much limited to the dueling ring. He's the, the combatants here at the camp. Of all the official all duels, he is the combatants. second highest, but also the hardest easily. I feel like this voice is someone uh almost doing a uh impersonation of that guy. I know oh, it is that guy. I would be kind of witty if my brain worked. <laughs> uh, Shaw Shawshank Redemption guy. Morgan Freeman? Yes. <laughs> he does kind of sound like that, yeah. I mean, like, he sounds like someone almost, but not quite, <laughs> doing a, a Morgan Freeman impersonation. He does sound like that, yeah. Come to the right man. I've been dueling here for nearly 20 years. All right, now that you said that, I can't unhear it. So. There are only five of us left now. Duncan, Gerlon, Ice, Twitch, Twitch. Bendak Star Killer comes in once in a while. He's retired. Star Killer. Bendak Star Killer. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his entire career. But he was bloodthirsty as an Iridorian. He's not canon anymore. Nobody's canon. <laughs> Nobody, none of them are canon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I don't give a shit. They, saying it's not canon is just them saying it's not canon. That doesn't mean anything else. They can just they just slap a legend's label on it while I'm moving. He he lost the ultimate grudge match against Lucas. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna get so much money. Yeah, you Only get like a couple credits? thousand dollars once you finish all of them. Okay. presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, 
Even though this big injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlach. I mean, he looks like he's got all of his fingers. It's on his his <laughs> it's on his trigger hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I suppose uh, he could easily have like a robotic prosthetic or something. Mm -hmm. Those are probably expensive. I'm sure that Luke had like the rebellion back in that shit. <laughs> yeah, probably. Some, some rebe rebellion health insurance. <laughs> Great I benefits. Even, I don't even know what half these grenades do. What is it? Yeah, I can tell you what all of them do if you want. If you want to go through them. What's a sonic grenade? Uh, sonic Droid. grenades do sonic damage. I think they do a little bit extra to droids. And ion grenades do m more extra to droids. I think sonic grenades also have a chance to uh, stun. Plasma grenades are super powerful frag grenades that can do fire damage. Okay. Uh, frag grenades are like the standard yeah. damage grenade. Cryoban and cryoban grenades keep people stuck to their spot. Uh, with ice and do ice damage, oh, and then yeah. um, concussion it... grenades you don't do very small amount of damage but stun people. Yeah. Do, does the yeah. cryo ban count as? Uh, will it let me get my backstab damage? Do you um, know? Because I know the I know the uh, the concussion does. I don't think cryo ban does. Okay. It might. It it might. The one that I know definitely doesn't is I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a sticky. Uh, it's like an adhesive grenade that keeps everyone stuck to one spot but doesn't stun them. <laughs> one hit. Yeah. You were supposed to be doing this like four levels ago. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to have explored this place. Before you fight her, you should talk to Ice. She's kind of mean. What do you want? Great. Let me guess. Now that you're a duelist, you figure we have something in common. Something long. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean we're suddenly friends. So rude. Space stranger. Super rude. Nothing more to say to you. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> no, but you you would never say that to someone who just didn't even they didn't even say anything just came up <laughs> next to you I don't know I uh, I might but I am kind of rude so <laughs> Twitch Let's... is also another duelist I like I like Rodians Rodians are super cool I like their ears they're cute <laughs> Is this a Greedo shoots first reference? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's over. The fight is over. <laughs> I love that. The mysterious stranger has won. Ladies and gentlemen, draw over in this corner. A woman with Sorry, I'm skipping stuff because apparently I get impatient <laughs> when I'm drinking. I don't know. <laughs> you know her. You love her. <laughs> I get way more patient when I drink. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was a good little bit of business there. You know, you know her. You love her. Ice.